Welcome to part 4 of our winter outlook for 2025 to 2026. In this video, we'll break down what to expect this winter across the US, from temperatures and precipitation to snowfall patterns and how many snow days you might see. Starting with temperatures, the coldest air this winter is likely to settle over the northern plains where well below average temperatures are expected. Areas surrounding that, including much of the northern Rockies and upper Midwest, should be below normal as well. Meanwhile, the South is looking at a much warmer winter. The Deep South, Gulf Coast, and parts of the Southeast could see well above average warmth, with much of the Southwest also running above average. The Ohio Valley to expect conditions closer to average. Overall winter forecast Northwest Coast cold wet while Southwest Coast dry then Chicago area snowy and upper plains. Frigid cold then deep south warm and Boston and Maine area cold dry and upper New York blizzard conditions are likely. Looking at precipitation, the northern Rockies and Midwest stand out with well above average precipitation, meaning more chances for snow and storms. On the flip side, the southwest and southeast may be well below normal, signaling drier conditions. When it comes to snowfall, the upper Midwest again takes center stage, forecasted to see well above normal snow totals. Northern plains and parts of the Rockies should also trend above average. Meanwhile, the southern west, the southeast, and parts of the mid-Atlantic could see well below average snow this season. Snow days, the number of significant snow events, are projected to be highest in the northern plains, upper Midwest, and parts of the Rockies, with two to four notable snow events possible. Farther south, including the deep south and much of the southwest, snow days will be rare, if not zero, this winter. So, that's the winter setup for 2025 to 2026. Cold and snowy up north, warm and dry down south, and plenty of variety in between. What do you think about this outlook? Will you see more snow days this year? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for updates as we update this forecast. 